Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Well, we have a sp special day today. Where's the man of the hour, Mr. Bajali? Come oh, forward. I he was sitting right there. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, you sure? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting. I thought maybe you would bring an application that I could fill out for uh, Shenkai. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's possible. Can you lease apartments? Uh, well, I'm sure you can teach me to do anything, anything you want me to do. Actually, you could be Doug's replacement. <laughs> well, I tell you, I, this is a, actually a sad day, isn't it? I mean, we got... Pete and Steve, legends, you know, have been here forever. I know, uh, I know we're all going to miss you. I mean, it's, it's a long time, a lot, lot, of, lot of time together we've all had. But we wish you well in, in your endeavors. Uh, we hope you uh, stay in touch with us, all of us, I'm sure. Uh, change is always hard. But where, where's Mr. King? I don't know. I, I, he must have gotten detained at some important meeting. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. <laughs> well, like I told my staff, the King era is about to begin. So like Mr. McNichol said to me, uh, you'll make a far better uh, director than I was. So I, I'll pass it on to Mr. King, and I'm also going to pass on to him the fact that uh, I'm going to give him two letters. Uh, when things get bad, look at the first letter, and it's going to say, blame your predecessor for everything. <laughs> <laughs> when things get real bad, open the second letter, and it's going to say, start writing two letters. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thing you told me le or the other day um, about your enemies? Oh, the, the old the, Italian the, saying? The enemy of my enemy is a friend of mine. <laughs> Think about that. It's a little, it's a little twisted. but. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a, a certificate for you. And you guys, you wanna, I suppose you want to get a picture of her? Sure. Yeah. Where? Where? Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Geez, I'm getting quite a haul today. My staff put on a nice spread. In fact, uh, all you are invited to <laughs> come down and have a little bit of something to eat. What is it? It is. You say donuts. Kroger gift certificate. To what? Kroger gift certificate. No, there's something to eat. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, I want to thank everybody. Thank, thanks for the Kroger gift certificate. Now, they do take this in the liquor store. I hope. <laughs> well, they put, it, they, they, they put out a great menu. It's just a, it's just a buffet of all, all different kinds of food. So right. Carrie brought these, these uh, exotic donuts in. So you have to all right. So, but uh, parting is such sweet sorrow, and thanks. Well, thank oh, you, Steve. You. I, uh, 
you know, I got to start out my professional career working with your brother at Sandusky High School, and so I'm probably one of the few people that's got to work with two Pajalis over the last decade, and it's been a, a, a pleasure working with both of you. I mean, I think your your parents would be really proud. You guys are both great. I mean, you've done a heck of a job for Erie County, and you know, I've always enjoyed our conversations and your advice, and um, definitely appreciate it. We're going to miss having you around. Well, the feelings mutual. And I'll, I'll echo those, Steve. I'm the new guy, right? So I haven't been a chance to, to work with you for very long, but for what you've done to the county, you've made a difference, a huge difference to the pe people who live here and work here and, and need help and assistance. And to have the, the knowledge that you and, and even Pete that you have, it's, it's second to none. And we're certainly going to miss it, but and I'm sure we'll tap into it from time to time whenever possible. But Congratulations and well, thanks. Thank you for the kind sentiments and accolades, and uh, it's been great working with everybody. Okay. All right, Hank, All right. we're going to have a couple of. Uh... Boy, what? What do we do? You're not talking at all? You're not talking? No. Oh. No. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say. I was just talking. <laughs> so that every week we always, well, Pete, we have, do you have any issues? Pete always has issues. Hank, do you have any issues? <laughs> I'll try to keep it brief. Um, we have some preliminary casino tax numbers for the first quarter of 2021. Um, we won't get the official number until this Friday, but it looks like we'll be about 5.5% off from what we got last quarter. It's same time last year? Or? Yeah, same time last year. Yeah. That's encouraging that people in the middle of a pandemic are gambling more? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm that sounds that it's encouraging almost, that it's up five and a half percent. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> so that's the first issue. Uh, second one is uh, Aaron and I met with Palmer Energy, and um, we went ahead and locked in the energy aggregation price. Uh, it ended up being Dynergy is the supplier. The rate was a little bit lower than what they were quoting us the last time we met, so it's going to be about 4.55 4 cents per kilowatt hour, and that'll, that rate will run through through December of 2023. So we'll have a resolution coming on back on that next week. But that's that's plus transportation yes. taxes. Correct. What's the net? Do you happen to know? I do not. I'd be curious what. The total is and as compared to eleven and a half cents, ten and a half cents, whatever. Right about the current rate that we're at right now. Yeah, as far as aggregation. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. The other update I wanted to just let the board know that we are still working through the plans and specs with the JO project. We're hoping to have some numbers by the end of May for that one. Just got a few words. So do, what's the preliminary estimate? Is Gary, Gary was, did that. It was around 2.8, I think, was yeah, their high. That was the high number, was 2.8. 2.8, and then how much is the engineering cost we're paying now? Just like 48000 Okay. So bigger, I mean, no, no more than $3 million. What they're telling us, yes. Okay. Does that include control? Yes. Okay. And then do we have the office building or the courthouse rather? It's the same thing, right? They have not. No, as soon as they're done at the jail, they're gonna do the courthouse one. Okay. And what what was the estimate on that? Seven fifty, I think? Yeah, about six fifty. So that's without control. And are those in the courthouse? Are those all pneumatic uh, dampers and stuff, or are those yeah. elect electric? Those are electric, yeah. so we don't have to replace that. So once we do the system, would and I know the 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 roof thing would they we have to put the HVC in first? Yes. And then put the roof on next. Correct. And the roof was how much? Sixty thousand roughly. Okay. And that, and they're they're going to respray the connecting ductwork. They'll respray everything that's disconnected. 
So the point is we're going to need, we're looking at close to $4 million round numbers in HVAC that uh, I think we've talked about. We're probably going to take that out of the um, seven million and seven billion we're getting over two years from Washington, right? Probably not a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, the other piece that we wanted to talk about was the uh, sawmill wastewater treatment plant project, which if it's a big packet, you'll see that there's a uh, we went through and scored all the RFQs and I'm recommending that we move forward with Pokemire and negotiate a contract for that project. Uh, that project alone. Do we? Well, we still don't have the Treasury guidance. Sure, correct. We still don't. That should be coming out in the next, hopefully, couple weeks. Soon, yeah. We have what? Two? What do we have in capital? Two million? No, I think we're probably closer to four. Oh, is it? So we could do the HVAC out of that. Then it leaves you with nothing. Right. You know, could always use some of your other cash reserves. Yeah. And I know the sheriff is working with the state on that uh, application for the uh, Dale project. So the DEP will have set up this, uh, have an application that's due by June 30th to try to get some funding from them. So we're working on that. That should be coming back soon as well. And so. I know we've been out testing the leaks for what a year now. Does do we have an estimate yet on what that's some big projects? For instance, I know there was a lot of issues down Bogart Road with the connections, and they I think they somebody had an estimate of two and a half million or something to fix that problem. But as we go through this EPA mandated. Um, testing that we're doing we got to come up with the number it's going to take to fix it could we made any progress on that i went back and looked at what was presented um, from environmental services when we were looking at the rates and during their presentation at that time they were indicating that almost over 30 million dollars worth of potential projects with you know, manhole repairs uh, lining lateral issues and i think we kind of questioned well what's the real number of 30 yeah about five was probably the real number of that, but that still demonstrates that there's a significant need yeah. on those issues alone. So and wasn't that like fifty thousand dollars a day if we don't do it? So you got five five million there, five to six million estimate, yep. and then you got what'd you say on the sawmill? Seventeen, 17 million. Seventeen million on sawmill. Plus we just did Mitawanga at four million. Five and a half. Five and a half. Construction's four six, five and a half, including engineering. Our bids came in for the uh, DEP contracts for that. So we factored all those in. Those are significant. Well, somebody factor. better write to Mr. Biden and ask for a little more money. Right. Yeah, I think we're quite there. He's a man. Yeah, we're past the fourteen million just on three projects. Yeah, and and I, and I want to just. Put that money towards fixing those EPA issues. You know, I know we're going to want flushless toilets and drinking fountains and hand sanitizer by the truckload, but I think we've got all that in the last millions of CARES money. I think we just need to take care of our federal obligations with this money. Okay, thanks. I do have one thing. You, you do have one issue? I do have one issue. Uh, I got an email from CBRE, and again, they were kind of uh, our project coordinators for the last second, for the second phase of the Fort Parks, and uh, they asked if, we can, uh, if they can use us as a reference, they're going after some projects, they want to know if we can, if we can use us as a reference for that project, uh, uh, that wasn't 
was one of the main reasons I stuck around as long as I did to get, see that project through. Uh, so, I mean, I don't have any problem with it. Uh, yeah, whatever. Sorry, I was reading a comment here or laughing at you. That's fine. <laughs> Hank, you got anything else? Thank you. Well, we're a few minutes early, but it looks like we've got a full house. The day we've all dreaded the Grim Reapers leaving. <laughs> 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 when Pete and I would show up at the courthouse, that, that's what they said. Uh oh, the Grim Reapers are here. <laughs> we are, I think I can speak for everybody in this room. You know, when I started here in 2008, 2009, and uh, you were still in the bowels of the finance, right? Correct. Back in those days. And, uh, Mike was retiring. We were looking for a new uh, administrator, and uh, and we, we went out into the world and and looked around and and uh, I don't know. I think I sort of make the decision that Pete was the most qualified guy that was sitting right here in our midst for all these years, because what county commissioners do, my opinion, is we just basically handle the money. And I don't think there's anybody better that I've ever met. And I've, you know, I've been been business 41 years, and I and I that's what I do is I deal with money. That people think I might be a builder, but I'm really just a banker. And I don't think there's anybody better than Pete Daniel. Uh, him and I have uh, sparring matches on who can remember the number. Uh, he's always right. I'm always wrong. Uh, I told Hank when we hired him, well, you're going to have a hard time keeping up with Pete because what did we spend on that? And Pete will know the answer, as you all know, as you deal with him. Um, his memory is, is, uh, is great. But, you know, more importantly with Pete is he really, I think, uh, in my opinion, come on in, Sheriff. <laughs> This is the only guy that's been able to wrangle more and more money out of Pete. Than <laughs> <laughs> it might be something to do with the gun. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That taser <laughs> gets him every time. But you know, Pete is Pete is. Uh, I'm sure some of you haven't agreed with with him over the years, but his heart is always right. It's always for the citizens of Erie County. What's best. Uh, in his belief uh, for the community. Um, you know, he's, he's got uh, the type of mentality that he, um, uh, I'll be kind, he's frugal, uh, but he carries that forward into his public life. And, you know, it, it's real easy in this job to spend somebody else's money. And I, I know, I think all of us up here have the same attitude we don't treat it as taxpayer money we we treat the money just like it was our own how we run our own finances in our own house and that's how pete's handled the money uh, for our community um, i don't think you'd find uh, a more dedicated person you see him here at nine o'clock ten o'clock at night um, you know and and he doesn't get paid for that you know he just does it because it's what he, that's pete and you know his hobby is picking up trash on Cleveland Road. You know that's that's what he cares about the community. I saw him down there one day, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I'm just picking up trash along the road." And that's that shows the love for Erie County. I mean, he it's uh, I think he's crazy for retiring from this job. I'm just crazy. Oh, it might, it might be crazy. It might be crazy to do this job, but yeah, crazy to do, do the job. Um, his job is thankless. Uh, you know, we kid about the Grim Reaper, but he's told all of you know, I'm sure, many, many times. But it, he doesn't say no without a reason. And again, he's looking at a bigger picture. Everybody's department thinks their department is the most important. 
department. That's just human nature. But Pete looks at it on a global aspect. Um, and he, again, what's best for the taxpayers of Erie County? I, I don't think you're ever going to find another Pete Daniel. Um, I'm glad he's not leaving, totally. As most of you know, he's, he's going uh, to work part-time over at DOES. We've got a lot of interesting projects that are being shoved down our throat right now. So he'll still be around over there um, and be able to answer questions for Hank. Hank's the new, new sheriff in town, so to speak. Um, he's got huge shoes to fill. Um, I think we have to be patient because Hank's got a lot to learn and he's always going to be compared to Pete Daniel. So, and those are hard footsteps to follow, I think, as we've talked about. But, you know, he's worked under Pete now for, what, almost a year? Over a year. Over a year. Yeah. Um, believe it or not, he has Pete's blessing. I've, I've asked him, how's Hank doing? I think he's going to be fine. That's a compliment uh, to you. So uh, with that, i turn it over to my colleagues. Well, Pete, we've talked. I, you've helped me out personally since before I got here. Again, I'm the, the newest here for actually working here in the county, but for years previously doing news reports on the radio, and it, this goes back quite a few years, anytime I had a question or needed clarification, I always ended up to Pete, and I, he was the one who always could share the information and I've learned since I've gotten here that he's really good at sharing the information in a way you can understand it. So when I was the outsider looking in, he made it very easily easy to understand things. And here he makes it very easy to understand, but he's like like right my little Yoda, the Jedi Master. I mean he is his knowledge is amazing. And talk about the hours, you know, since this COVID started and, and I was social distancing with my wife and everything else, but Tuesday nights would be, we'd kind of run into each other and Tuesday nights I'd come in, look at all the paperwork and sometimes in the middle of winter, it was dark early, I'd get here seven o'clock, maybe 7.30, last night, 7.30, eight o'clock. And before we know it, we'd be talking, he's that guy, he'd talk about anything. We'd talk about Indians, but we'd talk about business and never had a fear of approaching him uh, or trepidation about asking a question or just trying to figure out what in the world. And yeah, his, his knowledge base is unbelievable because he's got the true life experience of, of understanding how the county and the government in particular works. And so Pete, personally, thank you very much for all you've done for me for sure. But we talked briefly, you've made a difference in the county because of what Pat was saying and how you go about it and how you, you, you don't think about it as, you know, you're just truly the grim reaper of no, 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 but you think about it as ownership. And I think that's what all of us really have, right? We're working here on this team and we all feel that ownership of what it means to, to work and to live and play in Erie County, but, but to do for the government thing. So, can't say thanks enough. I am glad that we're going to be able to pick your brain from time to time and certainly you'll be around to help Hank and all of us if we have questions. But boy, shoot, initially enjoy your time because boy, did you earn it. And thank you very, very much. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Well, I certainly echo everything those two said. And uh, from my perspective, um, county government has to be about the most complex, convoluted, and I would say stupid form of government. And you probably know more about it than anybody in the state of Ohio, I think. Pretty close. Nah, pretty close. Um, I, I've just enjoyed working through projects with you and uh, I mean, your, your sheer mastery of the numbers, which is what this job is. You know, we, we appropriate. And you know, you've got to know the numbers and, and you have and you have, you know, you've just done a great job. And, and, you know, when you think about the state of finances of this county, when you became administrator, you know, between you and, and the former commissioners, you've really put the county on really solid footing. Um, we could have made poor decisions, but we didn't. And I think a lot, you know, that's credit to your your knowledge of the budgets and and shepherding through what many people probably didn't even know is rough waters. Uh, but you've just, 
you've been a great asset. I certainly have learned a lot, and I don't think any of us would be the commissioners that we are today without you back there telling us uh, the right path to go down and giving us good advice and, and counsel. So thank you, and enjoy however long you're taking off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, again, I, I just appreciate the, the opportunity to serve the city of the city of the and that's, that's the bottom line. So I appreciate you guys having the faith in me to do that to the best of my ability. And I really do appreciate that. Well, Pete went, just sidebar, Pete went from retiring, and I said, no, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to take, I think it was six months originally. Uh, no, nah, that can't be. Then he went to two months. No, uh, that doesn't work. Then I think he went to a month. <laughs> then it was two weeks, and now he's going to take a week off. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no, maybe two. Maybe two. <laughs> oh, no, that's not going to happen. Up for a week, so. Does anybody want to say anything? You're, I mean, we got time. Anybody want to stand up and say goodbye to Pete? You're perfectly welcome. Bye, Pete. Bye, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to miss you so much. Um, I just thank you for everything you've done for me and for my office. The one thing I can say about you is that you were always accessible. If I ever needed you, you were there. If I called you and you weren't there, you called me back. I will miss you. I appreciate you. And I kind of even love you. So you take care of yourself and hope to see you around. Hello, Pete. Hello, Larry. Good to see you. And uh, just on behalf of all of us at Shores and Islands and, and really the tourism industry for the, for the county and the region, I want to thank you for, for your service. Um, I've only worked with you for a few years since uh, you know the, the coming over as director of both bureaus but I know Don who's here and Joan worked with you for many years before that and uh, during that time uh, some of the biggest things that have happened to the tourism industry in this region have happened uh, with your involvement so thank you very much for all of that and also thank you to Ms. Brajali who's been on the board of uh, the Erie County Bureau for more than 10 years and we're hoping we can keep him on. So I uh, want to thank Steve for all his service, too. Yeah, but I, I mean, I really enjoyed doing that uh, board park project. It was a big thing. It was a real big project. Glad to see it through. Yep, and, uh, and going strong. So yep. thank you very much. Thanks for that opportunity. Right. Barb? I have to say something because Pete and I have worked. Oh, you always have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your license thing renewed again, do you? Do what? Extend the license. Pay? No, they actually have till July. So oh, okay. Yeah, they don't get the penalty till right. July. It's usually what Thanks you Thanks to COVID, yeah. But Pete, I can't. I'm going to miss you. You know, we've done this together for so long as my budget director and and the same thing, Barb, you can't do that. You, you don't have the money. You can't do that. And give me my 10-year forecast and say, you know, until we get to that point, you know, maybe you'll be able to do it. And came to him, want to build a new dog pound. Well, if you want to build it, you've got to pay for it. So, <laughs> so it's like you said, we asked all the time. But Pete was always there for me. Um, I'll miss him in the mornings and after work. We talk out here in the parking lot because he always parks in the same spot. So I just... I, his life will be different. Um, I don't know Hank as well, but I'm sure I'll be around to bug him too. So. <laughs> Do you have a dog? <laughs> but like I said, Pete's always always had a way for me to figure something out. And yeah, you, like you said, he was always for the community, and he knew you know my love of animals and what I do. You know, it's like, you know, Barb, you just got to figure it out. You know, you, you can only spend this amount of money. You know, you can only have this many people. And and I just, the budget, you know, he, he like you said, I could ask him right now and he'd know what my budget was. You know, it's the numbers. And I'd, ha I'd have to look through my papers, you know. So, mm -hmm. But as friends, I mean, I've seen you all for so long and just, it, it's it's kind of hard. <laughs> so you go, so. I 
I'm not telling you I love you. <laughs> I ain't telling you I love you. I ain't giving you no hug. Come on, hug it out. Hug it out. But I'll say this, this is for Hank too now. So for the other elected officials, I always had the advantage. Because from my window, I could see Pete when he was down below. So when I needed something, I'd see Pete down there taking a break, and I'd ride out over and have a chat with him. About so I didn't have the advantage. So Hank, before I leave, I'm going to mark with... Uh, traffic crash marking paint. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a bright orange X down there. You just stand on that a couple times a day so I look out the window and I see you. I'm not going to get sniped. I'm, no, I'm just going to come over and harangue you like I did Pete trying to get what I wanted. So, But I appreciate everything Pete's done. Pete's educated me. I don't know if I educated you about a few things maybe. But, but Pete's educated me. We had a lot of good talks down below there. So, And sometimes I was successful. Most of the time I wasn't. <laughs> But Pete was wise enough to tell me the way things needed to be, so I greatly appreciate that. Well, we know you tried, Rudy. That's, <laughs> That's right. Anybody else? On the left. All right. Well, I guess we have a certificate for you. Seems. Somewhat underwhelming. <laughs> oh, he says so. Do you guys want to get over there? <laughs> well, I think um, I think we're going to do a department head class photo outside, right? That's the plan. Yeah. So going to do it? What? Outside. 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 Whoa! I don't know. Wherever. Sorry, I'm not in charge. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> not here. <laughs> Out back. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you guys want to go do that, we'll go into executive session. Well, where do you want to do it? Well, I don't think we're in it. Oh, we're not in it? <laughs> we're, we're not department heads. Unless you want to be. No, I don't want to be a department head. All right, so I'll, I'll make a motion we go into executive session. Second. Regarding litigation. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Schaffner? Yes. Mr. Shenago? Yes, but I'll be right back. All right. Record. Second. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. You ready? Um, hang on a second. I just want to note here that there's a, um, oh, a letter. It's unsigned. I don't know who this comes from, but I assume it comes from the engineer's office. It says, the current use of microsurfacing throughout Erie County is so sporadic that we are unable to consistently bid countywide like chip seal, resurfacing, and striping. Currently, if a township microsurfaces, they can contract under ODOT invitation, uh, and he lists the citation, liquid asphalt to have work performed on their roads. Um, 
I'm not sure what townships have submitted microservicing, but disappointing that that's the attitude of the county engineer. And then we have some other things here, but it looks like it's... So he's saying, <clears throat> I don't know what that means. He's saying that he's not doing, like, you know, last year he didn't do the work for tar and chip for the townships. He's not doing it if they want a microservice this year. He won't bid it? No, he's telling them they need to do it under... For their own thing. <clears throat> something to on. I don't know why they have a statutory engineer if he doesn't do the work for them, but that's... What? What? Yes, between them and him. Oh, that must be like a, a big contract. Yeah. Was he, can he do that if he's statutorily supposed to oversee the townships? I'd have to look at the detail of it. Generally, they have to go to him for their engineering. It sounds like he's um, just relinquishing that responsibility. He's just saying do it under ODAP contract, which might be better. I don't know. Well, can, can we over help them with that? What's that? <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll have to look through it and see if what townships are doing microservicing, but um, just want to do a contract that, such as what we talked about. Yeah. Uh, the contract's already predetermined at state level. Yeah. That's why the lowest price. Hopefully. Well, all right, that's all I wanted to bring up. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make a supplemental appropriation. Second. Mr. Chalkner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make an interfund transfer. Second. Mr. Chalkner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of entering into an agreement with Delay Landon Financial Services. Second. Mr. Chalkner? Yes. Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of entering into a service agreement with Blue Technologies. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of entering into an agreement with Wellington Implement. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Uh, move for adoption resolution, authorize. Uh, Move for adoption resolution authorizing not to exceed $1.5 million public infrastructure improvement general obligation refunding bond series 2021. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenaga? Yes. Move for adoption resolution of Board of Commissioners for the purpose of entering into an agreement with Micrographic Technology Services. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Old? Yes. Mr. Shenaga? Yes. Move for adoption resolution of Board of Commissioners for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make budget modifications and supplemental appropriations. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution of Board of Commissioners for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make interfund transfers. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mr. Shenico? Yes. Move for adoption resolution of Board of Commissioners for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make payment to the Erie County Treasurer. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of authorizing the county auditor to make supplemental appropriations. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Shenaga? Yes. Move for adoption resolution, Board of Commissioners, for the purpose of executing payment of then and now certification. Second. Mr. Shockner? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. <clears throat> yes. That's all I got. Is that it? Yep. Um, I would, uh, one of the resolutions was moving motor vehicle gas tax, county gas tax money into an account that can be uh, distributed to work with townships, but we need an intergovernmental agreement. Can I, can you work on that and get something drafted? We'll check with Gary and make sure it syncs up with code sections. Um, make a motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Old. Yes. Mr. Shockner. Yes. Mr. Shenago. Yes.